Okay. You may have decided to live for God. Okay. You have to be very, 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 very careful of the people you choose to associate with, hang out with, and stuff like that. I am not telling you to be paranoid. But if you begin living for God, see almost anyone as a potential enemy, someone who may try to take you away from God. And you may ask me, what do you mean by that, Kevin? Okay. Let's say you used to go to clubs, bars, and stuff like that. And let's say you want to live for God now. And let's say within a week, someone calls you or I mean, someone call you or contact you that you haven't heard from in five years. Do you believe that is a coincidence? Huh? You haven't heard from that person in five years, but soon after you give your life to God, now that person calls you or contact you. Listen now. Yes, in some cases, I believe some people may come to our life to help us, to help us with God. But what I find, and I think for some people, I think more people may come into your life to distract you away from God. Do demons want us to go to heaven? No, I don't think so. So if demons don't want us to go to heaven, what do you believe they are going to do? Do something, I guess, to where we get distracted or fall away from God. Ultimately, I believe, right? If someone doesn't want to live for God, why would you hang out with that person? Why would you go over that person's home and entertain yourself? Kevin, I used to be that person's friend for 20 years and I want to rekindle that friendship. You are trying to serve God. That person doesn't want to serve God. I believe as humans, we are influenced by something. You may say, Kevin, I am strong and I can't be influenced easily. I think every one of us can be influenced. So if I am trying to get to heaven, why would I? Now, I help people. I help people who, I guess, serve God. And I help, I guess, lukewarm people. And I believe I help 
the, un the unrighteous people, some unrighteous people as well. But if someone doesn't want to serve God, I may help them, but I am not going to be in their face day in and day out. If you understand what I am trying to say, I am not going to be over their house all day, every day. I am not going to be with them, spending much time with them all day, every day, unless, unless it is about God. Listen now, if you are weak in Christ, and I am not saying I am this powerful, strong man of God that can defeat dragons and stuff like that, but if you are weak in Christ, why would you go somewhere or be around someone if you know you will fall, fall away from God? Think about that. So if you begin living for God, be cautious of the people who may try to enter or re-enter your life. Please listen. Please listen. I believe this may be something that will or already is happening in some people's lives. You don't how can I say this? I think some people have this thing to where they want to be around someone, even if that person is bad. Like this rejection type of, what is it called? Like some type of, I guess when you were younger, Maybe you were not loved much, so you want someone there, even if that person is bad for you. Now, it is not wrong to want to want someone there for you. But if you have a thing to where you need a best friend and you are depressed unless you have someone there for you to where you would sacrifice your relationship with God for someone to be there for you, man, get rid of that quickly. Stop that. Let me stop here. God bless you.